Oh, there's been a lot of people asking the best way to capture edits to a course once it's been built. Uh, the issue there is what happens often once a course has been built and then there's online um, stakeholder review edits so the course gets updated and you get a disjoint between what was in the say script or the storyboard versus what you see online. So the best way to go about that would be get the storyboard and have a look and put that up on one screen and then get the completed course and have a look at it on another screen in terms of dual screens and then you can go through bit by bit and see what needs to be changed. Update the storyboard as a way of communicating using track changes. If there is a disjoint between what's in the storyboard and what's on the online course, it's probably because there was a change or a new screen added during the development phase. And then you can just add a comment or a note. Now I guess there's two audiences for the online review changes. One for the stakeholders and subject matter experts so they know what to, what's going in it and what to sign off on. And then also the person that's doing the edits or the update so they can come back later and easily and quickly see. So it might be a developer, for example. So they can see straight away what's in the course, what needs to be changed and they're just going straight in bang, bang, bang and be able to complete those edits. So it's not a creative type job, generally speaking, it's a matter of updating some text and some URLs and some legislation changes, which means maybe a bit of narration needs to be recorded or some text swapped out to see if there's an updated version. Um, hopefully that's helpful um, in terms of captioning review edits once the course has been completed.